Welcome back and a bit of a milestone this week as we prep to actually start milling the first of the wing skins. So this is the right hand side wing and lower side and this is actually the complete um, thing with the winglet although not with the strake. Um, actually and there's also a little bit on there which is basically part of the lower cowling and that'll be removed. So here's uh, everything that's actually going to be milled. So the outboard part of the wing at the rear part of the strake and we're actually going to um, mill where the flap is going to be. We're going to just mill that flat and we're going to use an insert to create the flap. And here it is uh, with all the uh, flanges added to it. And it's actually quite long. The platform is 192 inches long. Uh, so it's longer than our table. So it has to be run in two different paths um, where we run a bunch of stuff first and then we slide it along and then uh, run the remaining stuff. So here the guys are busy putting together the platform and you see this time we're using a 2x4 steel instead of 2x2 two two because being so long we don't want it uh, to be able to flex um, at all or if any. So anyway, that's getting laid out there. And here it is from the other angle so it looks a, bit, a little bit like a dance floor. And meanwhile there's a bunch of other things going on. So this is the uh, mold for the intake scoop. So that one's been released from its plug and came out nicely and actually could really double as a nice big ice uh, drink cooler, self-draining as well. And here's the mold for the lower dash that's been completed and unfortunately just a bunch of stuff uh, laid up or just lying on it. So um, I was too lazy to take it off to show that, but anyway. And this is uh, one of the door frames. Uh, the mold for that so there's the bushings that were drilled through there to bolt the two pieces together and they've um, had some carbon fiber on there to lock them into place and here's the uh, lower side of the air intake scoop and that's sort of underway with sanding so that's going to create a little insert for the lip of the scoop and this is the plug for the rear seat mount so that one's had its black top coat on there in preparation for um, having the mold the rest of the mold laid up so it'll get a layer of light and um, in this case a layer of heavy on there and here's Roberto and Chris working on the front seat mount uh, mold or creating it so this one's just going to be again with glass and not carbon fiber seeing that it's not a, a full structural component so you see they're basically just resin and uh, fiberglass there And here's the lower wing skin platform again, getting the foam laid up there. So in this case, uh, eight inches of foam managed to keep it nice and flat. So not a lot of extra foam to have to mill. And here's Roberto and Chris a little bit further along on the front seat mount mold. So here they are putting down one layer of heavy. So they'll make up the first round of this one and then we'll get uh, three more layers of heavy afterwards. So there's the wing platform all ready to go and as you can see um, Jeff took a little bit of time there to cut out some foam that wasn't going to be milled anyway or would have been milled and just turned into dust so we saved a little bit on that one but as you can see that table is uh, 10 foot long so the platform is about 16 feet long so it hangs off the end there uh, quite a bit and you can see from a different angle and there's the machine just starting out so again this is a bit of a milestone uh, milling the plug for the first uh, lower wing skin here and so it'll mill that the first sort of uh, 11 or so feet and then we'll slide it down and we'll mill the other um, five feet so just doing the rough cut now starting out get rid of the stuff that's in the way anyway so it's going to run for a while and more mold progress here. This is uh, the mold for the uh, left side cowling, I believe. Yeah, left side cowling just released and that uh, came out nicely. So that needs just to have um, the edges all trimmed and it'll be ready to lay up that part. And once again, here's the front seat mount. So the guys have uh, finished the first round of layers on that and got uh, some peel ply on there. So that one's uh, all ready for the next uh, round of, um, of heavy layers. And here's our lower dash mold and you see Jeff's just taken off uh, that side plate that was on there that allowed him to sort of create that big uh, sort of vertical flange. And here it is uh, fully released from the plug. So you can see that one came out nicely. 
So that one just needs to be trimmed again and that one will be ready to lay up the lower half of the dash. So that's kind of exciting. And didn't have any problems there with those little inserts there for where the side sticks are and also the um, latches for the glove compartment. Here's Devin working on that uh, intake uh, scoop or the underside of the intake scoop. So you see he's just basically uh, working that little bit of blue filler there that he's been you know, just filling in these little holes or indentations or sometimes there's like little air bubbles in the in the putty that starts out with and other times it's just little scratches or whatever um, and sometimes from the tooling on the machine but anyway he's working on that one and here's Zach this is um, the right side upper strake skin so he's sanding this one so that one uh, has had one coat of prime already but it's gonna have another one for sure and this is Friday morning and as you can see um, the first half of the wing has already been um, or the, the wing plug has already been milled and now it's doing the second half so it's been slid down and there you can see that uh, came out nicely and the little uh, indentations in there for where the access panels are going to be and uh, just the regular flange that we put on there about six inches of flange all the way around so that's uh, come out nicely so far and obviously uh, it's already been cleaned up around the edges there I did that in preparation for having it uh, glassed on actually getting glass today Saturday and there's just a different perspective there as you can see the machine's still working on doing the uh, lower streak anyway that's our update for this week thanks for watching